Hey everyone, how's it going? Lordrew360 here. And before I start the video, and that is that I know this video is a bit late. The water festival been over for almost two weeks. And I thought I'd also let you guys know that I didn't sadly make a video for the Johto spawns. But the new Ultra Bonus is live now, which is the week two spawns for uh, the regionals and the eggs. And these spawns in the wild are crazy. Let's just say we have clam pearls everywhere. Absols, Mawas, Alolan Sand Shrews, and Alolan Vulpix everywhere. And I will be making a video next week for this week's Ultra Bonus. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Yellow, how's it going everyone? Lordrew360 here, back with another video. And today, we're actually going to start the Water Festival event that just started at 4 o'clock. We found a nice caravan nest that was reported. Thank you to Christy Green Eyes for that. And today I'm joined again by Lady Sebos. Hi! So, we're going to get back to checking these guys. Let's check one. No, not shiny. And the second one here. Nope, not shiny. But the goal of this whole video is to try and find the shiny Carvana. If we do find something else, I will definitely show you guys. Because I'll be hunting this afternoon and a little bit in the evening. So if you guys are ready for this long uh, adventure, let's get going. We got a quick Magikarp check right here and a Carvana. No on the Magikarp, but Carvana right there. Not shiny. I also didn't mention the nest. Ooh, I missed my throw. I also didn't mention what nest we were at. We're at the Sentry Gardens nest. So in case any of you want to come down to it, it's Sentry Gardens to get there, all right? So I'm gonna catch this. And we've hunted for about 40 minutes now. So we're gonna take a little breather. And I'll come back with you guys here shortly, but the spawns, they're really good if you want to come through here once. But after that, you're kind of just done with it. So, you guys are ready. I'm going to take you guys around to some more places. And we're off to another location. One of my favorite clusters, which is the cluster right off of North Park, right by Vaden. In case you guys want to check this place out as well. So many different things to check. It's so nice here. Oh my goodness, here we go. So cut the Carvana. And let's check the Barboach. It's bound to happen eventually. Nope, it isn't shiny. Totodile? No. And last but not least, the Apom and the Wingle. Apom? No. And the Wingle? No as well. But you can see how big these clusters can get. And everything here at a shiny possibility? Man. That would be pretty cool. So we're just going to check out a couple different places and then I'm going to head back to the nest myself later on tonight. Mainly to do a trade as well which I will show you guys at the end of the video hopefully. And yeah there we go. That's the cluster. Hey everyone. Thought we'd start off the night time now. The little hunter of the night. Mudkip is not shiny but I'm going to catch those. Because I like the candies and they're good for community day when it comes back for the redo in December. And we're going to be hunting just a little bit in the night time before I take you to Harbor Front on the next part of the video because that's the plan. We're going to Harbor Front for the main part of it. It is just like a little side quest before we started to see if I can get the Corfish. Sorry, not Corfish. To see if I can get the Carvana or the Barboach and also Corfish. There we go. We'll catch him. And we're just going to go hunt around the Bramley area, so like Trinity Commons, and maybe go back to the nest again. I'm not sure if we're going to go back to the nest because it's a little bit of a ways biking, but who knows? Maybe I'll take you guys there again. So without further ado, I'll come back with you guys when something interesting happens. Hey 
Jesus, look at this cluster here. One. No, not shiny. What else we got? Three magic carps. Yeah, no luck on that either. Holy moly. Another one? No, not shiny. But man, this is a huge cluster. And speaking of magic carp, since I'm checking them all here for you, I do want to try and get the magic carp extra large badge done because I don't have that done yet. What are we at? Let me just double check there for you after this polywag. Give me one second here. Currently we're at 228. Wow, that's a lot. But we only need about like 30 so or more, so we're gonna get that. Let me just apologize for that last clip. I was in a plaza that I usually go to during the day. I don't usually go there during the night, so it was kind of a little bit sketchy, but it was okay, because I just said, okay, nope, I'm done recording there. So I moved on to the next place. Um, let's catch a Carvana. And no shiny so far, but we're not doing too bad here. Got a lot of Carvanas everywhere. And he fled. Magikarp, come on. No, not on the magic carp. I'll catch that for you guys. And I will be doing my trade still. And I'll probably catch you guys back home, alright? I lied. We came back to the nest for one more little quick round of checks. Not shiny on that one. There we go. 221. Bang. My goodness, though. This nest was really good when I first came to it. I really hope it's just good when I run through it now. But like I said before... It's only unless you want to come through like once or maybe even twice and then you're good to go for a good half hour. See, one more over there. No, not shiny. And a barboach. Barboach is... No, not. What about that totodile? I didn't check the totodile. No, oh, okay. But, like I said, it's a good nest, but, you know, it's not like you need to come to the nest for the uh, carvanas because there's enough of them already everywhere else. But I still want to do one more quick round of it. So I'll probably be ending it here and then I'll be going back home to do a couple more checks with something I got finished. So yeah, I'll meet you guys back home. Well, I sort of ruined what the first one is going to be, but it is the Clamp Pearl. So Clamp Pearl it is. Pine up, put a good ball on it, and attack me. Uh, there we go. Got the hit. And we got a one great throw towards our quest. Two, three, there we go. Perfect. Second check is going to be something even better. Kidding! It's the same thing. Clamp Pearl. 535. I don't believe that's a hundo, but we'll check in a second here. Got it. And this is going to be it right before I go to Harbor Front. And that'll be pretty much the second part of this video. There we go. Got the clamp pearl. Let's see if it's shiny. Let me boof. Let's see if it's a hundo. Wow. Interesting IVs. All right. I will see you guys at Harborfront. And just like that, in an instance, we're at Harborfront. So, I apologize in advance if some of this is going to be a little windy. It's a little windy out today, so I might not get the greatest quality of the audio. But, we're still going to go with the video anyways. And, so, as you can see, I have changed my outfit. Lovely. Look at this boy. There you go. He's looking nice. And, speaking of that, we're going to change our buddy as well. And, I thought, you know what? Let's keep it classic. Because you get the half distance on the buddy candy, I'm going to just go with the 10 CP. Magikarp, why not, right? Also going to update you guys on some shinies that I recently got because I did get a couple of them. Uh, looking into the journal, we do have a couple of them. We got a Barboach today, Magikarp today. We got another Barboach yesterday. And then look at this! Yeah! 100% lucky, shiny Latias. There you have it. Beautiful. And I got a Kyogre from Research. So now that you guys are updated, I did actually see a Phoebus, which was wonderful. But what we're going to do next is we're going to just walk down this entire strip here. You can see some lures, some gyms over there. And I'm going to actually try and find some rare spawns. Hoping for the Lapras today, but if not, then, you know, we tried at least. But we're going to see if we can. So if you guys are ready, let's, let's get some hunting on.
Well, to say the least, I was running here for a poly whirl because the poly whirl was one of the rare spawns that was listed on our uh, spawns that are rare near the water. And I found a shiny Phoebus. Yo, dope. Okay, I'll take that any day. So Phoebus, I'll take it. One, two, three. He's in the ball. There we go. Whoa. Okay. And what are the IVs on him? Oh, whoa. That's unfortunate, but hey, I'm sorry if this turns out really much, but shiny Phoebus, sweet! Well, that boat I just showed you guys, I think it was the Matthews, I might be wrong on that, but that one, I will be going on that one actually in a couple, in a couple weeks from now for a boat cruise. So that'll be fun. I don't think I'll be able to take you guys on there just for filling purposes. Got a magic carp here, two of them. Check the first one already, but the second one, no, not shiny. Also, it's been really good for spawns down here. I found lots of finions, a couple of weasels and I even found a poly world that I missed, which you'll see. But holy moly, I'll take these spawns. Also, there's a torchic there. Not shiny on that one. But I found this really nice garden area that I've never actually been to before, right by the lake. And I thought I'd like show you guys that as well during the clips. But got two quests here. First one's gonna be Clam Pearl. Okay, so not shiny on that. I'm gonna check the other one as well. Let's come on. What is it going to be? Clam pearl again. Not shiny. And it is 527. Catch that. But man, it's so beautiful down here. And I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. And the spawns are just crazy. No Lapras yet, but we're hoping to find that one. But man, these are quite the spawns. Okay. Let's keep on going. Well, that is where I'm going to end this video. But before you guys go I do want to evolve two things for you I'm gonna leave the evolution at the end of the video so as always thank you so much for watching make sure to boom, hit the like button click the red button down below to subscribe to the channel hit the bell beside it 